How's it going guys? Ultimate Noob here, back with another video. And it's out. Season 5's patch notes have been released. And here's everything you need to know for the update. Now the gameplay in this is not Season 5, but everything I'm going to be talking about is released by Apex in Season 5. I'm going to be streaming uh, on Twitch on the road to being number 1 in the world for LOBA, so make sure you guys tune into that. I'll leave a link in the description. But without further, further ado, let's get into the video. So first up, we have um, changes to the Legends, which is the, we're going to start off with Mirage. Mirage now has a tactical uh, change, uh, which is called Psych Out. So when you uh, press the ut character utility button, uh, that allow it allows Mirage to gain access and control his decoys so basically you can control your decoy movement uh ultimate life of the party uh it's basically like dummies big days ultimate and the big one is uh his passive is when you you get cloaked when you get downed and you also cloak yourself when you're reviving teammates your teammate also gets cloaked when he's being revived and you're cloaked when you're respawning someone when it comes to bloodhound uh his tactical eye of the all father has been altered uh sonar detection has gone from three seconds to four seconds so that's a buff for him and decrease the cooldown 35 to 25 seconds major buff for blood down there crypto's drone can now ping banners while in the drone and warn teammates of nearby squads lifelines lifeline bin ratio has been increased to 20 percent uh, and the knockdown shield has been removed from uh, secret compartment loot pools. Caustic got a big buff. Now the friendly gas no longer slows your teammates and caustic traps no longer trigger from the other side of the door. That's kind of a nerf, but Caustic got a bigger buff than nerf. Now it comes to Octane, his launchpad cooldown has been reduced from 90 seconds to 60 seconds. That's the only update we're seeing for Octane, surprisingly, and it's kind of disappointing. Uh, Gibraltar's update, um, it reduced the dome shield duration from 18 seconds to 20 seconds. Pathfinder's got a change. Uh, the cool for, for the grappling hook has been increased for, from 15 seconds to 35 seconds. So that's a massive nerf. For Pathfinder. When it comes to the guns, uh, five the five new gold weapons are gonna be the Longbow, the Hemlock, the Spitfire, the EVA 8, and the RE45. Rather surprising. Uh, the Mastiff has received a change. It's being rotated out of the care package and the regular weapon with its power reduced. Wow! So the damage per pellet has been uh, reduced from 18 to 13. It still, still seems like a decent gun. Shot multiplier has also decreased to 1 from 1.3, which is absolutely insane that the Mastiff has been uh, turned into a regular gun. Uh, the Peacekeeper has been rotated out of the regular gun uh, loot and it's being put up in as being a care package weapon. This is very interesting now, given how broke the Peacekeeper is. What, given how the alternator's mag size has been increased, it got a buff uh, from 16 to 19. Level 1 extended mag is now 22, 25 for level 2 and 27 for level 3. The RE45's damage has been increased from 11 to 12 and the reload time has also been decreased. The Havoc has finally gotten a nerf, this is much awaited. Vertical recoil has been increased. The horizontal recoil has been slightly increased, increased and the recoil in the first two shots has increased. I, f I feel like this is re basically like returning the Havoc to the Season 1 Havoc, uh, like it used to be, where it takes a bit more skill to use this gun. The Wingman has received another nerf, where the headshot scale has been reduced from 2.1 to 2. When comes to hop-ups, the Skull Piercing pop-up has been reintroduced into the game. Uh, the DMR with a, a DMR, like a longbow with a the skull piercer is going to have a 2.5 uh, headshot multiplier and the wingman is going to have a 2.25 and they vaulted the anvil receiver so rest in peace anvils. Gold armor has, re has received a change, it, it has an additional perk now, shield cells and syringes give double the amount per use, that is interesting. And it reduced and removed 50% heal speed. Wow! So within two shield cells, you have your full heals back. That's interesting. Very interesting. That's it for all the um, legend changes and the weapon changes for now. I'm going to be grinding uh, to be number one Loba in the world. So if you guys want to check me out, I'll be on Twitch right now as this video is uploading. I will be live on Twitch when the update drops. 
so make sure you guys tune in i'll leave a link in the description make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as well and have a great day and enjoy season five let me know what you guys think about the video and also share the video with your friends who are wondering what's coming out for season five let them know keep them informed anyway guys that's it for now stay safe peace out